Chapter 11, Section 4, Meiosis. Gregor Mendel did not know where the genes he had discovered were located in the cell. Fortunately, his predictions of how genes should behave were so specific that it was not long before biologists were certain they had found them. Genes are located on chromosomes in the cell nucleus. Mendel's principles of genetics require at least two things. First, each organism must inherit a single copy of every gene from each of its parents. Second, when an organism produces its own gametes, those two sets of genes must be separated from each other so that each gamete contains just one set of genes. This means that when gametes are formed, there must be a process that separates the two sets of genes so that each gamete ends up with just one set. Although Mendel did not know it, gametes are formed through exactly such a process. Chromosome number. As an example of how this process works, let's consider the fruit fly Drosophila. A body cell in an adult flu fly has eight chromosomes, as shown in figure 11-14. Four of the chromosomes came from the fruit fly's male parent, and four came from its female parent. These two sets of chromosomes are homologous, meaning that each of the four chromosomes that came from the male parent has a corresponding chromosome from the female parent. A cell that contains both sets of homologous chromosomes is said to be diploid, which means two sets. The number of chromosomes in a diploid cell is sometimes represented by the symbol 2n. Thus, for Drosophila, the diploid number is 8 which can be written 2n equals 8. Diploid cells contain two complete sets of chromosomes and two complete sets of genes. This agrees with Mendel's idea that the cells of an adult organism contain two copies of each gene. By contrast, the gametes of sexually reproducing organisms including fruit flies and peas, contain only a single set of chromosomes and therefore only a single set of genes. Such cells are said to be haploid, which means one set. For Drosophila, this can be written as n equals 4, meaning that the haploid number is 4. Phases of meiosis. How are haploid gamete cells produced from diploid cells? That's where meiosis comes in. Meiosis is a process of reduction, division in which the number of chromosomes per cell is cut in half through the separation of homologous chromosomes in a diploid cell. Meiosis usually involves two distinct divisions called meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. By the end of meiosis 2, the diploid cell that entered meiosis has become four haploid cells. Sh figure 1115 shows meiosis in an organism that has a diploid number of 4 or 2n equals 4. Meiosis 1. Prior to meiosis 1, each chromosome is replicated. The cells then begin to divide in a way that looks similar to mitosis. In mitosis, the four chromosomes line up individually in the center of the cell. The two chromatids that make up each chromosome then separate from each other. 
In prophase of meiosis I, however, each chromosome pairs with its corresponding homologous chromosome to form a structure called a tetrad. There are four chromatids in a tetrad. This pairing of homologous chromosomes is the key to understanding meiosis. As homologous chromosomes pair up and form tetrads in meiosis I, they exchange portions of their chromatids in a process called crossing over. Crossing over, shown in figure 1116, results in the exchange of alleles between homologous chromosomes and produces new combinations of alleles. What happens next? The homologous chromosomes separate and two new cells are formed. Although each cell now has four chromatids, as it would after mitosis, something is different. Because each pair of homologous chromosomes was separated, neither of the daughter cells has the two complete sets of chromosomes and it would have in a diploid cell. Those two sets have been shuffled and sorted almost like a deck of cards. The two cells produced by meiosis I have sets of chromosomes and alleles that are different from each other and from the diploid cell that entered meiosis I. Meiosis II. The two cells produced in meiosis I now enter a second meiotic division. Unlike the first division, neither cell goes through a round of chromosome replication before entering meiosis II. Each of the cell's chromosomes has two chromatids. During metaphase II of meiosis, chromosomes line up in the center of each cell. In anaphase II, the paired chromatids separate. In this example, each of the four daughter cells produced in meiosis II receives two chromatids. Those four daughter cells now contain the haploid number N, just two chromosomes each. Gamete formation. In male animals, the haploid gametes produced by meiosis are called sperm. In some plants, pollen grains contain haploid sperm cells. In female animals, generally only one of the cells produced by meiosis is involved in reproduction. This female gamete is called an egg in animals and an egg cell in some plants. In many female animals, the cell divisions at the end of meiosis I and meiosis II are uneven so that a single cell, which becomes an egg, receives most of the cytoplasm, as shown in figure 1117. The other three cells produced in the female during meiosis are known as polar bodies and usually do not participate in reproduction. Comparing mitosis and meiosis. In a way, it's too bad that the words mitosis and meiosis sound so much like each other because the two processes are very different. Mitosis results in the production of two genetically identical diploid cells, whereas meiosis produces four genetically different haploid cells. A diploid cell that divides by mitosis gives rise to two diploid daughter cells. The daughter cells have sets of chromosomes and alleles that are identical to each other and to the original parent. Mitosis allows an organism's body to grow and replace cells. In asexual reproduction, a new organism is produced by mitosis of the cell or cells of the parent organism. Meiosis, on the other hand, begins with a diploid cell but produces four haploid cells. These cells are genetically different from the diploid cell and from one another. Meiosis is how sexually reproducing organisms produce gametes. In contrast, asexual reproduction involves only mitosis.